Hello again. This series is going to be to help new players as well. Um, so I'm going to make this video as much detail as I can with the mods I'm using. So these two are like the Colossus pack. And in the mod hub, there's the Colossus pack. So I can't make it any easier than this, guys. Right, here's my next two bits of equi equipment. Um, and there it is, in the mod hub again. 82 Studios. So I'm going to try and make it easy as I can for everyone and I'm going to try and do this with every bit of equipment I got. Um, so that's the uh, class tractor pack. Uh, this is the back lifter. This is another cool mod. That's my cedar or planter. Uh, this is like the Colossus pack again, uh, but same again, I'm going to show the picture once again, so you can find it easy in the mod hub if that's easier for you guys. Uh, this is what I use for stone collecting, and this is the stone pack, the forage pickup trailer pack. Um, and this kit I'll never go with it, i got this on every map. And this is the forage pickup, or the lizard forage pickup. Um, what a lovely bit of kit. Um, and you see this on every one of my farms. This is the class, or right, the class pack. Um, it's the class tractor pack. So yeah, it's got all my favourites in there. And a few um, little attachments, should we say, what goes with it, like the front lifter and all, uh, which I showed at the beginning. Um, so these are going to be the start of the farm build now um, and I'm going to do the same with the mods as well if I can um, the ones I'm placing down I'm going to show you um, where they are in the modder basically um, show you as they are and the description and the mod maker so this is how you find it in the mod hub um, and I'm going to try and do that with every one of these guys to make it easy for you, everyone uh, for beginners and people who've played this game a long time and might not even use some of these mods. Um, so this is a free fuel mod. Use that as much as I can as well on all my farms. Uh, this is the toolbox. This is another brilliant mod. Take this round everywhere. Um, but once I place it there, if I put it in a vehicle and close my game, um, it's always going to start in this location. So if ever you lose it and you get a bit lost, um, yeah, so whatever you first place it, that's where it's going to be. Um, this is another cool mod I use. Um, Tommy, crazy man from Ireland. Uh, this is one for you, mate. Um, I've showed you in a couple of other videos, but um, yeah, hopefully you see this one and you'll um, get what I'm on about with this pack now. Uh, it's pretty cool. So I can block that silo off if I want to. Um, but these are the bits I usually use. Uh, and this is Top Ace 888. Uh, this is his mod. And um, yeah, what a cool little mod this is as well. Uh, if I use a silo, um, I'll always have this um, on my map as well. Um, and that's a little cool little feature this has. Um, by placing them on the front of your bunker silos, um, it stops any overspills. Because um, when you're compacting it, you usually drag it out of the front or out of the back. Um, this little mod will stop all that from happening. So yeah, I got that on all my bunkers. Cool little mod. <coughs> Excuse me. So now, now we're coming to the silos now. Uh, same again. This is Missy B. Uh, this is a multi-fruit silo. Um, I'll have this on nearly every map I use as well. Um, so yeah, I hope this is going to help everyone out, especially for new players um, looking for things like this in the mod hub. At least you'll be able to stop in on um, these pictures and you'll be able to work it out. Uh, this is another one I use now and again. Uh, this has got massive capacity as well. This is by Old Matana. Um, another awesome mod maker. And yeah, this has got a massive capacity as well. 50,000 litres or 50 million litres be a huge awesome bit of kit um, so the next one now 
this is quite new from the mod up as well um, and this is the stone farm pack one by VX modding um, you put grass in there and it turns it automatically straight to hay um, so yeah we got that one as well the universal crusher I've just started using this on one of my other playthroughs works pretty good um, these I'll have on every map this is another step to being self-sufficient um, this will make my solid fertilizer and my liquid fertilizer um, I have these on every farm as well um, so you get a byproducts from your animals um, take advantage make fertilizer out of it and that's the mods here right let's set these up so I use all three of these one's for slurry one's for manure um, and that makes solid fertilizer and whatever solid fertilizer I got spare I'll put in this one and this will make liquid fertilizer just gotta add water in that one so yeah pretty cool now it's time to start the animals so this one holds a thousand cows and there we go this is the buildable feed lot pack thousand cows um, this is the one I usually use for chickens um, but as you can see it's going to be a little bit too big for this area so I might have to find something else um, but there's the modder there anyway right then let's go for the sheepies now um, I usually put four sheep pens down um, these old 250 sheep um, but I think I'll just stick two down this time just to get us started boom that's the two of them down right then so that's looking okay so far right then so we're gonna need TMR so this is the mod I use for TMR only small but yes what a nice bit of kit that is and that's the farm TMR Right, so if you don't want to use fences, um, use a bit of decoration, a few bushes. And um, yeah, I think it has the same effect. I'm going to try something a little bit different. And um, yeah, sort of suits it by there actually. So I'm going to quickly add a little bit of detail around here. Do a little bit of painting. Try and tidy this area up a little bit. Um, we don't own right up close to the, the woodland area. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go as close as I can go. Just add a few little details in. Um, that's what the um, pig shed left when we deleted it. So, um, yeah, a lot of the stains were already on the floor, so I thought I may as well try and use it. Save trying to paint all that myself. There's already a bit of a pattern there. So I'll give that a bash. So yeah, it's in the landscaping tool. And uh, yeah, this won't take long. Just fill in a few different patches, either there and everywhere. Try to make it look as though they go up into the woods. Right. Oh, right, so we can't put trees because there's too many trees already on the map. Okay. Right, so this is just a little bit of decoration, what comes with the mod. Um, these are little sheep, uh, little sheep, little cow pens. I need to try them, but I'm not going to try them yet. Um, I'm just going to get this little build done by you, to be honest. And um, I'll test things like that later on. Um, if you want to see them on camera, um, see whether we have babies on the map, because I'm not quite sure whether we do or not. Like I said, I haven't played this map at all yet. I'm literally just doing the build, and yeah, as you're seeing it, I'm playing here guys I haven't skipped anything um, but the next step is now is to um, get some seed so this is how I make seed and this is a base game mod this is from giants theirself um, and yeah you just need that seed treatment and there it is the AGI pack from giant software and yeah it's a cool little bit of kit um, I can't remember who this was by sorry guys uh, but it's a big pack. I'll have to try and add that in if I can. It's the big bag and 
hook or something like that, I think it was called. I can't remember now. But yeah, I do apologise. Uh, this is the global bags. I've got this on every single map. Love this mod. So versatile. Right, so I'm going to have a quick trek up to the shop and go and pick up some little bits again. Uh, I'll pick up our cedar and I'll pick up the bag. Um, I'll probably bring you back now, guys. Let me save it by there quickly. Uh, yeah, I don't think I've shown you this, so I'll just show the mod. I don't think I showed you putting that, putting that on the map. But yeah, I have added it right by the house. Right, let's go to the shop. Right, we're back. So this is the seed treatment you've got to buy to make seed. So that's that done. Right, there's the box for the water. So we get that now. And we can fill that out of the pond so we don't even have to stick a mod down for water at the moment. Uh, but I will do later on probably. Um, so yeah, we can fill this out of the out of the pond. And yeah, I love the animation of it filling up. I think this mod is absolutely awesome. I've got this on every one of my farms. Uh, there's a water version and also like a, a solid version. So you've got a liquid version and a solid version. And yeah, what a brilliant bit of kit. Right then, so let's top up our crusher first. This is the universal crusher. So from the stones from the field, hopefully we can um, make some lime. And uh, I'll just drop that off there. I've gone and got the cedar from the shop now. So this is set up. Hopefully this is going to work now. Hopefully. Right then, so we've emptied our bag now. So I'm going to do another quick water run. Try and get as much as that. There we go. Speeded that right up for you guys. Right then. Let's see if we can get some seed now then. Here we go. So this is my process on how I usually get seed. So I haven't had to buy anything at the moment, guys. Seed's done. Right. All I've got to do now is use up some of this straw. Right then. So. Doing that contract and getting free straw. So we've got bedding for our animals. And uh, now this is going towards our TMR. And we've still got a million litres left by the look of it. So I'll chuck that in the silo. Let's do that. Do 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 do. Right, nearly there, nearly there. Boom. Done. Right, let's make a little adjustment on this. Raise it up. Now we should be able to drive under that. And there we go guys, starting to make seed. So we're already on our way to self-sufficiency for the farm. And this is the way I start. Okay, so here we are. Here's a quick look around productions. And um, yeah, it's not much at the start. And um, yeah, that's how I'd like to keep it. But yeah, it does get very big very quick. But yeah, this is the way we're going to be self-sufficient. Um, so yeah, we can't really start all of it, yeah? But the um, next job is either more contracts or even harvest our own fields. So that's what we'll be doing in the next episode, guys. Thanks for your time as always. Hopefully this series is going to help out some newbies and some old players to the game as well. Um, some of the mods I know people who play the game don't use these mods because they don't know about them. Um, and I know I'm going to be out be out someone, so please leave a comment. If anyone got any suggestions on what type of buildings we want to put on the map, I'm quite happy to listen. Um, you've seen what mods I've got. Um, I can install some more. Um, as you've seen by my mod count, I haven't got much left. Um, but yeah, all, all comments are welcome. Um, thanks for your time as always, guys, and I hope this helps someone out. Bye.